Hey folks, how are you doing? So finally I've made a little time waiting while the epoxy dries on another custom and decided to finally do the video of the testing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna test one of my knives, one of these ones. So they're all same heat treat, all together as one bundle, 154cm steel, hardened to 5960, that's what it should be. They did test on a couple of them, apparently they were good and uh, Peter's heat rate is very, you know, kind of really reputable, really good uh, heat rate facility. One of the best ones actually in the States currently, as I hear, uh, along with the names like Boss Heat Rate and stuff like that. So we're gonna put it through some pieces here. Uh, right now the knife is very sharp. It's This is, you know, out of the box sharp for me. So we're gonna cut up some boxes, check how it holds the edge. So far in my experience it's good, but let's let's put it like to one big piece of testing. It might be a little longer video and we'll see you know how it holds it. I have tons of this cardboard here, so we're gonna just get on with it, just keep cutting. Very little resistance with this convex grind. This isn't even a full height, you see, but it's not thick, it's about three and a half millimeter thick, but still has nice, nice lean grind, very sharp, very little resistance, very little resistance, very effortless. I'm gonna do it double to speed it up. I'm going cross grain. I'm gonna go kind of randomly. I just want to do a lot of as much as many cuts as possible in a short period of time. Not to make it too boring, but still get enough cuts in it to I'm gonna need this one to, to kind of show how it's gonna hold the edge. Maybe even a little tougher, some, something a little tougher on the end, just to see out of curiosity if it can actually withstand some really hard use and abuse. I have some electric cable ready, copper cabling, something a little thicker than uh, just a computer cable. That might be interesting. Actually slides through it really nice. Harder for me to hold the paper than actual cutting. funny would it be if I cut myself. <laughs> I was home today, kind of productive day, finally got around to doing cut with the lover's knife, you've seen it. Thank you for the nice comments so far. You see I'm always busy, so sorry if I don't reply sometimes, sometimes it actually takes you a couple of days to get to some replies. Uh, one thing though I will say, if somebody asks me, something that I actually like made an answer to that like I said it in that video I'm sorry but I'm ignoring that I don't have time for comments like that don't take it wrong but you know it is what it is oh, this thin cardboard is like nothing slices through like butter
and I'm serious, I'm scared I'm gonna cut myself. <laughs> That's too far. Let's see, bunch of boxes in. Plenty of cuts, just out of curiosity. Oh, this is covered with tape residue. Check this out. Let me just clean this real quick. So it's kind of fair. Because this will not slice through anything with all this gunk on the blade. A lot of tape. Wow. Where's this magazine? Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna. Oh! Still wicked sharp. Wicked, wicked. Let me see something. Pub's hair like nothing, which is great. I don't know, uh, I think we're gonna... Let me cut this up. But I have a feeling that we're gonna just jump to something a little more serious than just uh, cardboard. I don't know, I mean, you would have to cut really, really tons and tons of cardboard. To, to do a good knife, if you're talking really good knife. Cardboard, no, it's nasty, but if you're talking good knives, good steel, good grind, good heat treat, this thing is not going to do much to it. You can really cut for hours and hours and it will stay sharp. Uh, let's see. Yep, still very nice. Let's whittle some wood. One thing what I like to do when I'm testing my knives, when I'm whittling here the wood, I don't just cut in it, I actually pry with the edge. I want to see if the edge is strong enough. So what I normally do is I cut in and I'm going away from it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, kick kick ass on that edge like I really wanna do what you should normally do like I'm trying to you know twist that knife to see if that edge is strong enough and if it with the with the misuse like that if it's still gonna hold you know you have good chances that if you really need to depend on that knife you can count on it at least that's the way I look at it I don't know you know tell me what you think about it See how nice and deep it bites. I mean, it's just lovely. This is two by two by two or two by three, I think. So it's not the hardest wood, but still, it's you know, it's a wood, and it's not the soft soft wood. Goes in. See those huge huge chips with just like. Not even a saber grip, just a regular grip and going in nice and deep. I mean this part I am pushing against it nice and hard but I wanna see what it can do in a really hard use, not just easel whittling. And I want you to see mainly. Works well, works like a charm. Edge still feels by the cutting, it still feels pretty nice. Let's see on a magazine paper. Looks 
good, I think. Obviously now you can see that there is a difference. Let me clean it off the gang again. Now after all this riddling, it should be duller. But you know, it's still very nice. Let me see on the regular paper if I can see, feel some tooth it. Not really. No. Still nice and sharp. It is really nice of me. I can feel micro teeth, micro like kind of micro micro chipping, but that actually might not be chipping. That might be just my grind. Because by eye visually, even in the light, it's nice and clear. Let me see some hard hardwood carving, that oak wood. Let's see if that can do it a little more. Nasty wood, nasty, nasty. This is kind of wood you wouldn't even find in nature, like in this condition, this hard, this dry, at least. Or oh, maybe if you find a hickory, really dry hickory. That's that would come a little close to it, but I don't think on a hickory really good old dry hickory is this this rough. Still nice and sharp. Let me do some splitting. Just out of curiosity, we do. I have this nice fed wood here which is nice and uh, nutty, like really curved inside that will do a nice little test and uh, then I'll do some cross grain splitting no problem whatsoever oh this wood smells beautiful you can see walking that tip really hard it's it's absolutely no problem let me try to walk it across split it across See, like straight in, how deep it went. Pretty deep for going just straight, straight in. And snapped it in half, such a nice big piece. Snapped it in half, such a small knife, which is nice. Let's see. Cut test again. Let's see on the magazine paper if it can still do magazine even after all this. Nice. That is very good. I like that. Still can do magazine paper. So let's do this then, guys. On the end, let's do this. Copper cable, pretty heavy gauge. Focus. You can see three pretty heavy gauge. That's a regular heavy thick power cable. And uh, let me put this down a little bit so you can see. And let's see if it can handle it. 
Honestly, I don't know this. I didn't try it. I don't want to be ruining my knife for nothing. Let's see if I can push cut it. I don't think so because there's there's a stick isolation. Oh, actually, yeah, look at that. cuts I don't see no chipping but let me do more and then we do the cut test might as well go I'm getting tired here do this test when my girl is not home because she would kill me if she sees this <laughs> oh this mess I'm kind of doing all of this splitting in uh, the first first two inches of it not even going to the belly I'm gonna do everything on that one part to see if it will do any damage trying not to spread it too much throughout the blade some chopping <laughs> that's fun yeah, it's fun once in a while to abuse the knife to see what it can do It's like it's shredding it, shredding, shredding. Wow, abso absolutely no visible chipping, which is great. Let me see this. Let's wood nicely. Let me see magazine. Wow, it actually still can do. Maybe micro teed on the bottom, but definitely not visible. Let me see regular paper. Slides in nicely, so you can see the Nice, nice. Let me see if it sh shaves. Oh, like nothing, without even any pressure. That is nice. That is beautiful. I actually didn't expect such a hard use on a 154 is good, but you know it's not. It's not a tool steel. It's not such a great. It's like. Uh, Many tool steels are better in performance, but didn't expect in kind of this like the copper cable and uh, the hard hard wood. I expect to have at least a little rolling or something, which is kind of normal with such a such a lean grind, such a you know sharp angles, but it holds good. So so far very happy. So now you see what you can get if you buy these knives, I mean they're all pretty much the same, 
Some of the smaller pocket knives that are literally meant for EDC knives have even a higher convex, even shallower angles that you know will be sharper, will have less resistance, even less than this and uh, they're always easy, easy adjustable, adjusted, you can adjust them but you see, so far so good, very happy hope you enjoyed guys, thank you for watching, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself